my loves welcome back to another video this one is a little bit of a i don't even know what to call it like i've been meaning to show you all of my bnm finds for ages and it's now at the stage where i need to and have been using stuff out of the bags before i've even got time to record this video so i think if i don't do it about now then i never will so Without further ado, make sure you're snuggled up on the sofa. I'm literally filming on mine right now with your snacks, and yeah, let's get into a BM haul because we haven't done one in ages. <laughs> I've just checked, I've just done my makeup and I haven't even checked if I've got foundation lips. So let me just sort that out. <laughs> okay, first things first, for those that don't know, we are obviously renovating our house, we're almost there. We've just finished doing the downstairs toilet, so it's got tiled flooring, the walls have been painted, a new toilet's gone in, a new little vanity sink has gone in, um, and I need all of the little bits like the bathroom bin, the toilet brush, like a mirror, soap dispenser, towels, the list goes on for even just for a little bloody toilet. Um, so when I was in B&M I picked up this little bin now it's actually quite a big bin and because it's white and black it's the basically the exact same as what's in our uh, upstairs bathroom but it's actually bigger and the one in the upstairs bathroom gets like full so quick because of all of like toilet roll tubes toothpaste shower gels all of the like things that just get used up so i'm actually going to swap the bins around um but i think the other bin from upstairs is from next so the downstairs toilet's getting a bougie bin but this one was only eight pounds um for a five litre black and white bin it's obviously got like the black bit there and the black bit on the pedal and yeah really handy it has also got you know like the little pull out bit it was actually quite a bargain i'm pretty sure i paid more than that from the one from next which is actually smaller so oh, there we are next up for the downstairs toilet i got actually two of these um hand towels i have already taken the tags off them and washed them um because basically the other one is actually in use in the bathroom at the minute but i saved the tag so these are from the Newbury collection. Yeah, so these are from the Newbury collection and they're 3.99 for a hand towel, which is 50 by 90 centimeters and it says super absorbent and you can get matching bath mat available, but obviously I don't need a bath mat in my downstairs toilet because it's literally just a toilet and a sink. Um, but I'm gonna show you what the vibes were like. So basically I saw loads of stuff on Next that I really really wanted basically had a really nice bin and toilet brush holder and all of that and like a really nice towel but I've just tried to do it as similar to that as possible but on a budget um so I will show you in another video when I do like the comparisons about showing you around the downstairs toilet um but yeah I'm absolutely really pleased with these and they're really soft and really nice towels so happy I got those. I did also get a toilet brush holder but that's already in the bathroom um and I don't know how much that was it was literally just a plain white one so I imagine very cheap but obviously you can get them from pretty much anywhere. Now I don't actually think there's anything else bathroom related so I'm just gonna literally do a lucky dip in this bag so first thing i got is this um wireless plug-in door chime kit so we obviously have other security measures in the house so we don't have a ring doorbell as well i feel like it'd just be a little bit extreme to have that as well as everything else so i thought we could get this because it basically just plugs in um to like one of your plug sockets inside the house you could literally have it anywhere and then you can put the other bit on the front door i think it says that you can like stick it to it um, oh, it has double sided tape or screws all included so you could use and or depending on your DIY skill So I thought that was really handy and that was only £12 and you could get a double pack which had like two speakers So you could have like one upstairs one downstairs so that you could always hear it if anyone was pressing the doorbell But I just thought one was enough. I mean if we don't hear the doorbell going It's not the end of the world is it? Next up I got these so I'm actually doing a deep clean of the bathroom today after I finished recording this video so I actually got some of these scrub daddy sponges which have like a flip sided if I show you it like that so you've got like the really hard textured view on this side and then the really soft 
spongy side and these are supposed to be really really good for like shower screens and getting all of the residue and all your marks off of the screen and then obviously wiping it down with the softer side um and it says in soft um, it's soft in warm water and cold, firm in cold water for more scrubbing power. Scratch free. Rinse clean with just water and top rack dishwasher safe. So you can actually put it in the dishwasher to clean it, which I absolutely love because there's nothing worse than buying new cloths and sponges and stuff. Especially sponges because I don't ever feel like sponges wash well when you put them in the washing machine, whereas cloths they do. So at least these can go in the dishwasher and be reusable um i can't remember how much they are if i can find a receipt in a second i will let you know found my receipt if i refer to this as home bargains by the way it is definitely b and m there's a b and m receipt here whenever i film these i always get the words the wrong way around like the two brands but anyway these were two pound 79 for three sponges oh i'm so excited to use this so i actually got the waffle bath pillow which has like the two little suction pads that you basically put onto your bath and you basically use it like it's instructed on the label but it was only a three pounds and i know that there was um, a video of molly may doing an advert for doing an ad for b&m and i remember her using one um or getting one and using one but i don't think it was the same one um, I'm not entirely sure, but I thought this will go really well because our bath is really, really comfy anyway. But this is just going to take it to a whole other level. Um, yeah, really excited. And obviously, because it's in white, it'll blend in nicely. I'm dead excited. I'm just wondering what the drying situation is going to be like and if it's going to end up going mouldy after so long, you know, if water gets trapped in it. But we'll see. We'll assess the situation and I shall let you know. Another thing, I just topped up on some white face cloths because they're kind of like an essential to making sure my makeup's taken off at the end of every day. Um, this is a pack of six white ones for £3.50. I'm going to run them through um, a white wash um, this afternoon and get them all dried. I always like to just make sure everything like towels and face cloths and stuff is all freshly washed before I use them and I feel like they're not as absorbent if you don't wash them first. It probably tells you on them that you must wash them first before using anyway. Um, this one says don't, oh they can be tumble dried on a low heat, do not dry clean. Anyway, yeah, just a top up of those. I've got a box of Yorkshire tea because Brad's family love Yorkshire tea and we love PG tips so we never have Yorkshire tea in so picked up a box for them. Oh I got some more of the big bottle of Zoflora just because we have um, run out like I've literally used this everywhere. I've used it to mop floors, I've used it to clean the kitchen like sink multiple times just whilst it was Renault City in this house. If you could smell this somewhere, it just made it feel a little bit more cosier and a little cleaner, even though it was just dust central. So yeah, I've literally gone through a full one of these when it usually takes me ages to get through a full one because obviously you dilute it. So needed a new one. Got some more Dettol wipes because these are quite an essential to have for basically any sort of cleaning job. But I use Dettol wipes on the toilet and I also use them as like a quick clean in the kitchen if I don't want to get the full spray out um, and there's just like a little spillage or something like that. Very handy. Really random purchase but I actually got some new gardening gloves. These were only £1.50 and they're in this cute like neutral colour so I thought they'd be really nice and I have actually got a couple of weeks off in March and I am going to tackle the back garden to just kind of get it to a I don't even know. It's a complete mess. I'm looking at it through our French doors now. I just want to get it so it looks a little bit nicer for summer. I think I explained this in like my previous vlog about the house. Um, but yeah, I'm going to basically do the fences, tidy up a little bit, and I thought I'd need some gloves. I also bought this little pot because, one, it was only £1.50. Really quite cute. It's going to sit on the kitchen windowsill. And I'm going to actually plant an avocado, um, you know like the seed that's in the middle of an avocado. I'm going to plant it in here and grow it on the kitchen windowsill because someone from work has been doing this. But apparently it takes 10 years for an avocado to actually grow on an avocado tree. So it's going to be one of those like slow progress ones. But I thought I'd give it a go and see if I can do it. See if I can actually grow something um yep we'll have to wait 10 years to see but 
if I don't start now, it's just going to take even longer, isn't it? So, yeah, I thought I'd get a cute little pot so at least I can look at a cute pot whilst I'm waiting for something else to happen. Then I just picked up this little plastic measuring jug. So we have loads of glass ones, but we also had a plastic one as well. But I actually used the plastic one when I was making um, candles. Um, and now it just, like, you can just smell the fragrance on, like, it just won't wash off. So I just picked up a new, cheaper one. Obviously, it's better because when they're new, because you can see all of the measurements. Sometimes they all wear off. And it was only 99p, so absolute bargain. And then, another thing. Um, so I've seen loads of, like, date night ideas to do a paint and sip night where you basically get canvases out, you get the paints out, and you basically just both have a drink of wine or beer or whatever you fancy, and you both draw and paint a picture on your canvas. So, I picked these up from B&M. These are just a complete acrylic starter kit, and it's got so many colours on it, and it was only 5 99 I thought it was really good quality. Also, if you've got like time uh, to wait for like delivery, um, Hobbycraft was actually quite good as well if you don't have a home bag in you. But yeah, I thought this was really, really good. That you get 18 different colours and yeah, I think that'll set us up for like a nice little paint and sip night. To go with that, I also bought this multi-pack of four small canvases. So I just thought if they were really, really small, you're not going to spend like all night trying to do an entire picture. You could do nice like little abstract designs or even like beach themed um you could basically paint a portrait on one of them if you really wanted to but yeah a set of four was only 3.99 this is the cheapest i've found canvases so b&m for your canvases obviously you can still get them from like hobbycraft you can get them from amazon but again i did find them just more expensive so highly recommend for your canvases from B&M. These are just an essential. Whenever I go to B&M, I always pick up a packet of skinny, I, say, I always call them skinny whips, but they're not. These are skinny crunches. And I always get the mint and dark chocolate flavor. You get five in a pack and they're about a pound. They are so nice. And I also picked up a pack of the Happy Hippo biscuits because I always use these on like my bakes, you know, when I make like brownies or cookies or anything like that. So it's nice just to have some of these in a like, little bake drawer um but they're individually wrapped as well so if you actually fancied one for a snack you could as well bought some of this so I, something i've never actually used i al always use the mr sheen polish on like anything um but this was i can't remember whose tiktok it was it was basically at like a cleaning company you know like um a domestic cleaning company that just goes around to a, people's houses and cleans their houses on like a weekly or a monthly clean and she uses this wood silk on all of like wooden features and it always looks so good and apparently the smell is really nice as well and it says that it contains no silicones and no water which would affect your furniture's finish and it's supposed to just bring it up as if it's like brand new so yeah i'm actually really excited to use that i'm going to use it on the dining table because that is obviously all wood um and anything else wooden i can get my hands on but yeah i'll let you know how i get on with that right the next thing i also got was a scrub mummy um so this is in the pink color i really wanted the one that's like just white but on the other side of this it is like a let me show you it's like a white yellow color just like a very pastel color so my thinking for this is going to be really good because we've got new um frame pans and they require more of a soft spongy like sponge funnily enough to clean it rather than like an abrasive one um but when this is wet obviously this will go soft so i'll be able to use this on the worktops whenever there's like a really stubborn stain you just have to be really careful with like quartz worktops and what you use on it that's all um but yeah i got this like little guy so could sit on the sink i'm definitely gonna have it this way around because i am very much more of a neutral kind of gal um but i also got the daddy caddy so you can actually stick this onto your sink it has like two suction things on the back yeah two suction things on the back and it will sit on on your what on your sink and then you can sit it like this so that's how it goes i'm really excited to put that on the sink and actually use it but i'm definitely going to try and find a white one as well <laughs> another thing for the date night like sip and paint i also got like array of paint brushes um there's loads in here they're like really thin a few like thicker ones 
Um, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I'm gonna have a receipt for these because I did go on like a separate day. Yeah, I went on a separate day for these ones and I don't know how much they were, but they were really, really cheap. A lot cheaper than I'd found on like um, Amazon. So yeah, it's good to have a array of different brushes when you're gonna do a sip and paint. Then finally, the next bit's really exciting because I've been waiting to do like our, what I'm casting as our pantry cupboards, but they're basically just cupboards in the kitchen that have all of the like dry food and tinned food and sauces, stock cubes, oats, flat, um, breadcrumbs, pasta, rice, all of that jazz. Um, so this is the theme we're going for. The little bamboo lid and actually, plastic because I have a few glass ones like this from B&M that I got a while ago but they're actually just like really risky to like hold stuff in you like you know if you don't get the right grip on it or it's quite slippy in your hand if you drop it like that's just gonna break so yeah I've gone through the for the bamboo look and these were so cheap like compared compared to Amazon please do not buy your storage containers on Amazon please go to B&M because they're so so cheap this was only five pounds and this is the like really large spaghetti so you can even like put pasta in all sorts and I did get three of these I believe one two three and then oh no I got four I'm basically gonna put all of my pasta in so even like the penne pasta the um, tagliatelle pasta what else do I have? I think I even have noodles. Um, yeah, basically any pasta. I'm gonna put them all in their own little container. And then I also picked up one of the small ones. The smaller size is only three pounds. Sorry, it's picking me up and not the can. Um, but this says it'll hold approximately, it'll hold 750 mil in a small one. And in the bigger ones, it'll hold 1.7 liters so yeah that's going to be coming up in the next video a little organizing our kitchen pantry cupboards with us because i'm so excited to get that sorted but i did make a list on the baking cupboard one oh my god because you've got like different types of flour so we've got plain flour self-raising flour bread flour then you've got caster sugar brown sugar the more chunkier brown sugar i can never remember what that's called cocoa powder then you've got baking powder bicarbonate soda um you've got sweetener you've got icing sugar like literally there's so many of these i'm gonna need so saving up for that cupboard but in the meantime i'm gonna finish off doing the pasta and like the tin area and then i'm also going to do the cereal section as well but i kind of need to suss out if i want to put cereal in these ones i think it'll look quite cute but is it going to be easy to pour out of that is my question i feel like it probably will and having cereal in like a tube one like this is going to save so much space inside the cupboard and then what i thought is because you're not going to fill a full one of these you know like them big massive cereal boxes you can get it won't fit all of that in here but you could then take it out of the box and just roll up the bag that's inside the cereal box and then store that in your um i have like a excess area an excess cupboard which is just extra like tea bags extra cereal extra sauces and stuff where i've got like loads of it i put it elsewhere so that all the cupboards aren't rammed um so yeah that's what i'm thinking next video will be a little organizing one Anyway, my loves, that is the end of the B&M haul. I'm sorry I've like literally rattled through it all, but I really want to get on and do a full deep clean of the bathroom so I can literally just soak away in there in the bath tonight and I can actually use my new bath pillow. How exciting. And I can obviously use my scrub daddy um, sponges to actually clean with it. So yeah, really looking forward to that. And I just wanted to make sure you got all of the lowdown on what's basically in B&M because I haven't done one of these videos in ages. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day and yeah, see you soon. Bye.